October 2019, China's leader Xi Jinping declares blockchain as playing an integral role in China's technological innovation and industrial transformation, calling blockchain a core technology. And the country declares its intention of creating the blockchain service network. Since then, blockchain, the underlying technology that makes cryptocurrency work, decentralized digital money in other words, is driving change across China's ports, cities, and grasslands, and defining today how blockchain could be used tomorrow. But first, what is blockchain? Well, Forecast asked some of the top minds in blockchain to explain it in their words. When you use a blockchain, whatever the business utility could be, and it could be a decentralized property registration system, it could be an e-voting system, it could be a supply chain system, uh, so the concept of a smart contract is saying, okay, you have actors and uh, events between those actors, transactions between them. Blockchain is just a, a new kind of database. Uh, it's a new kind of database that enables different actors using the system to trust, to be certain that uh, what they think is happening on the system is actually happening on the system and makes it very difficult um, if it's sufficiently decentralized for minority sets of actors to improperly manipulate the database. And as Bitcoin disrupted money by allowing the exchange of funds without the need to involve banks, blockchain may fundamentally change how information is exchanged. While most people pay attention to crypto, businesses and governments are focusing on blockchain. And Asia is definitely a kind of <laughs> Um, a major hub for, of uh, investment in uh, blockchain projects of, of all kinds. And, and there's a lot of people, a lot of money. The people are uh, in many places rapidly getting more money. And so, I, mean, I think from an investment standpoint, it's uh, very significant and going to be even more significant. And also over the last couple of years, I think the uh, blockchain development here has been kind of accelerating. The blockchain industry right now is like the early internet. Individuals and companies are building their own chain, but the chains are not linked. What made the internet powerful was connecting networks that allowed data from different countries, different industries, and different businesses to talk. So now back to China and why blockchain is playing an integral policy-driven role. The Blockchain Service Network, or BSN, is China's initiative to boost blockchain among its people and encourage companies to adopt the technology and eventually get the chains to connect. Right now, what we can do is, uh, is, is basically is, uh, uh, give all the developers easy access, cheaper access, and more convenient access to this kind of technology. We just want more people to know it, to understand, and to develop some test application on it. In July of 2020, just a few months after launch, the BSN split into two independent networks, one for China, one for the rest of the world. BSN China, which operates on permissioned chains and requires permission to participate, is where enterprise applications are likely to be built. Ones that can, for instance, help speed up e-commerce. If we build this on blockchain, when you click the button, then the, the logistic company immediately receives the data. Then it, the, the merchandise can ship much faster than now. Meanwhile, BSN International is open to the public and operates public chains. This is the arena for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. At the end of its first year, April 30th, 2021, there have been more than 20,000 users who have accessed BSN and 2,000 projects underway or completed. Right now, we don't know the future, but what we can know is let more people get involved, contribute your intelligence, your money, your energy, and let's see where this thing goes.